waterways. This superb one direction highway with its seven lanes accommodating traffic at designated speeds of 50, 75, and 100 miles an hour is engineered for easy grades and for speed with safety. Cars from the farm roads and feeder lanes join the motorway traffic at the same speed as cars traveling in the lane they enter. Here is an aeration plant purifying the lake water and distributing it for hundreds of miles throughout the countryside. Here is a highway intersection, highway engineering at its most spectacular. Traffic may move safely and easily without loss of speed. By means of the ramped loops, cars may make right and left turns at rates of speed up to 50 miles per hour. Elevated and depressed are the turning off lanes. There is no interference from the straight ahead traffic in the higher speed lanes. The motorist of 1960 finds this intersection safe and efficient. The two-directional traffic of the motorway, which merged at the intersection, separates again. The highway surface is automatically lighted by continuous tubing in the highway safety curbing, which evenly illuminates the road surface. Here is an American city replanned around a highly developed modern traffic system. The parks of the city have continuity, proper placement. These areas are united into long green strips surrounding each community. Along both banks of the river, beautifully landscaped parks replace the outworn areas of an older day. An industrial docking basin, newly completed, takes care of all the shipping from the adjacent industrial area. On all express city thoroughfares, the rights of way have been so rooted as to displace outmoded business sections and undesirable slum areas whenever possible. Man continually strives to replace the old with the new. A quarter of a mile high skyscraper's tower with convenient rest and recreational facilities for all. On many of the buildings are landing decks for helicopters and autogyros. Rich in sunshine, is the city of 1960. Fresh air, fine green parkways, recreational and civic centers. Modern and efficient city planning, breathtaking architecture, each city block a complete unit in itself. Here is an important intersection in the great metropolis of 1960. Elevated sidewalks give a new measure of safety and convenience to pedestrians. They actually double the available width for traffic in the street. And so we see some suggestion of the things to come. A world which, far from being finished, is hardly yet begun.